Donald and Douglas are Scottish twin engines. They are very hard working and they like to clean the back controller. Wow! What a busy day we all had today. I know, right? Phew, I'm tired. Well, you're looking out of shape, Tony. What do you mean, Dougie? I'm totally fine, thank you very much. Anyway, you're the one who's looking out of shape. Hey, I'm not out of shape. You're the one who's out of shape. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Aren't. Are. Oh, will you two not get off? Some of us are trying to sleep for tomorrow. Oh, sorry, Gordon. Yeah, sorry, Big G. My name is not Big G, but whatever. Oh, don't mind him, you two. He's only trying to sleep because tomorrow he has to take important passengers on a tour of the island and then bring them back to Brendan Docks so they can catch their boat on time. Wow, that's an important job. It is, so that's why he needs his sleep. Oh, don't worry. You promised to keep quiet from now. Agreed. Now that's what I want to hear from the both of you. Just then, the fat controller came to see them. Well done for taking that heavy goods train, you two. I'm very impressed with your work these last couple days. Oh, don't mention it, sir. Yeah, we're just happy to be part of your wonderful railway. That's the attitude I'd like to hear. You know me, sir. I'm ready for anything. Well, in that case, Douglas, I have an important job for you. What is it, sir? Percy's in need of a bit of help with the mail tonight. There seems to be lots of extra letters and parcels coming in, and he can't manage all the extra work alone. So I would like you to help him deliver the mail. But I'm a tender engine. I haven't pulled the mail before. Besides, why can't Percy ask his best friend Thomas? I wish I could, but I'm taking my evening train to Brendam Docks. But what about Emily or Rebecca, sir? Well, Emily is at the steamworks that are breaking down at the level crossing, and Rebecca is spending the night on the mainland and won't be back in a few days. I'm sorry, Douglas, but you're the only engine available. Yes, sir. That's good to hear. Now make sure the mail runs on time. We don't want any confusion and delay to happen, especially tonight. And the fat controller left for home. Ha! <laughs> Take that, hot shot. Now, Donald, let's not make fun of your twin just because he was just assigned to the mail delivery. Okay then, Thomas. But Douglas didn't want to pull the mail train. He wanted to have a nice long sleep in the sheds. But he knew that really useful engines don't complain. Looks like we got a funny new tank engine called Douglas. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, shut it, Donnie. Will you two ever shut up and let engines sleep? Gosh! Tonight, Percy was at Snapford Station. He was waiting for Douglas to come and help with the mail train. Thomas and Toad were there too. I hope Douglas will be here soon. The mail can't wait any longer. Don't worry, Mr. Percy. Mr. Douglas will be here soon. Toad's right, Percy. There's no need to rush. Anyways, what's the hurry for? Well, I've been needing help with the mail recently, so the fat controller asked Douglas to come and help me. I hope he doesn't mind helping me with it. Oh, I'm sure he will be happy to help you. Oh, I can't wait to help Mr. Douglas with the mail train. Well, I'm sure that Douglas will be happy to have you as his brake van, Toad. Thank you, Mr. Percy. At last, Douglas steamed into the station. Finally! I'm glad you're here, Douglas. Thank you for coming to help me with the mail tonight. Oh, no problem, Percy. But, um, can you keep it between you and me? What do you mean? Well, it's that... I don't want other engines to know I'm pulling the mail train with you. What's wrong about pulling the mail? Well, no offense, Percy, but 
Taking the mail train is more of a tank engine's job. Well, Caitlin has pulled the mail before. Wait, she has? Yeah, but she doesn't mind pulling it, even though she kept blowing a whistle and woke everyone up. But you shouldn't feel embarrassed about doing something you don't normally do. But Donald will probably think I'm a child now. But you are a steam engine, Douglas, not a child. You're right, Percy. I'm a steam engine, and I won't give up on the job already. That's the spirit, Douglas. Now, do you know where you need to go? Of course I do, Percy. Okay then, I'll see you later. Bye, Mr. Percy. And Percy puffed out of Knapford with his mail truck. I hope this doesn't take too long to deliver, because I want to get back to my shed. Duck was at the other platform. He was wait waiting to leave with his evening passenger train, and he noticed that Douglas was in a foul mood. Is something wrong, Douglas? Yeah, everything's alright, Doc. Thank you. Is it about hel helping Percy with the mail train? How did you know about that? Well, I've known Percy since I took over his shunting duties in 1955, when I was a station pilot at Paddington. Before I moved to Sodor, and ever since me and Percy have been friends, he's always pulled the mail train each night. And it has always been his favorite jobs ever since. Even though he might run a bit late with it, the mail still has to be delivered on time. And without the mail train, how will the passengers get their letters and parcels in the morning? Just wouldn't be right without it. So that's why the mail train is important, especially if it goes to a tank engine like Percy. Wow, I never knew the mail room was that important. Now I know not to groan whenever I'm assigned it again, especially when the passengers are involved with it. Well, now you know the importance of taking the mail train. Thank you for teaching me, Doc. I better go now. I don't want to be late for my mail. Okay, see you later. And Douglas puffed away with his mail train. Oh no, what's that? I don't know, Mr. Douglas. But it was only Toby. He was heading back home to Arlesdale End. Hello, Douglas and Toad. Are you guys okay? It looks like you've just seen a ghost or something. I'm okay, Mr. Toby. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm okay. At least you're not here to make fun of us. Uh, why would I make fun of you? Because I'm pulling the mail train. Isn't that Percy's job? Percy needed help as there were far too many packages and letters needed to be delivered on the other part of the island. And I think you're doing a good job at it, Mr. Douglas. And I think you're doing a great job. After all, the mail train is an important job for a really useful engine like you. Mr. Toby is right. Mr. Douglas, we can't give up already. The passengers need their mail in time for morning. That made Douglas feel much better. Now he had the confidence back. Thank you, Toby. I feel more confident now. My pleasure, Douglas. Well, I hope it goes well for you. I'm going back to my shed to get some rest. See you later. Bye, Toby. Soon, Douglas and Toad were on their way again. Something must be wrong. We'd better slow down. But when he got closer, he was surprised to see that it was Percy. He had broken down in a siding. These are lead fireboxes. What happened here, Percy? Well, 
I just finished a delivery for Matewaite and I was heading to my next stop until I cracked a cylinder and I've also got a cramp in my wheels. Will you be okay? Oh yes, but someone will have to take over my mail route for me tonight. Douglas felt sorry for Percy. He knew that the mail train had to be delivered on time. Then, Douglas had a good idea. Stay where you are, Percy. I'll be right back. That's all I can do. So Douglas pumped his pistons and raced back to the sheds. Donald, wake up! Hold. Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? No time for sleeping. Percy has broken down and I want you to help me deliver the mail. Why should I help someone who said I'm looking out of shape? Okay, I'm sorry about what I said earlier, but I really need your help. The mail train has to be delivered so that people can get their letters and parcels in the morning. Donald thought for a moment. He was still a little bit hurt about what Douglas had said to him earlier, but he knew that Douglas needed help, so he happily agreed. Okay then, let's do this, Doggy. Oh, thank you, Donny. You're the best brother ever. So Douglas raced around the whole line and delivering the mail. Thanks for your help, Donny. Ah, no problem, Doogie. I must say, it's actually quite fun delivering the mail. Now that, I can agree with. Just then, the fat controller arrived to see them. Well done, Donald and Douglas. All the mail was delivered right on time, and before morning, you are both really useful engines and a credit to the railway. Well done, Mr. Donald, and where's the Douglas? Yes, thank you, Donald and Douglas, for helping me deliver the mail. Without you, I could barely finish one trip on my own. It was our pleasure, Percy. And if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have the encouragement for taking the mail. Why, Doggy? It's probably because you're too good for pulling the mail. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? I mean, we know now who's not out of shape, don't we? Ha <laughs> uh, ha! I'll get you for this. Oh, brothers, you can't live without them, and you certainly can't live with them. <laughs> and whenever Donald and Douglas fall out, they will always get back together again. 